And now the gel on top. Hello everyone, welcome to Wash and Go Wednesday. I'm Kim, CEO and co-founder of Chromix. And I'm Tim, COO and co-founder of Chromix. And I'm back, baby. <laughs> <laughs> so tonight, you guys, we are gonna show you how to get the best wash and go ever in just four easy steps. And we have some special guests here with us to show you guys how to do this. I want you guys to come on up so we can introduce you to the people. Yep. Um, and when you guys are checking in, let us know where you're checking in from. If you're watching us on replay, comment replay below. Um, I see Curly Ever After, I see Felicity, I see Carol Car. How are you guys? Welcome, welcome, welcome. All right, Annika is gonna be our model for today. Can you give us a slow rotation, Annika? There we go. Slow motion, for, no, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> That's not right. All right, all right, all right. Y'all asked for kinky textures, we have a kinky texture. Let me see some hearts if y'all are happy to see Annika as a model tonight. And yes. Annika, if you don't mind me asking, what do you normally use on your hair? Curl mix. Oh, she's just saying that, y'all. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> she's back there. Uh, she's one of our featured models. Annika's hair looks beautiful. And then Andra, Andra Renee is going to be our stylist for tonight. Andra, can you just introduce yourself? Yes. Hey, y'all. Hey, curl mixers. Hey, soon to be curl mixers. I'm excited to be here tonight, and we're going to get the best wash and go ever. Oh, yeah. All right, all right, all right. All right, all right. Make sure to follow Andra at, on Instagram at Hair Cousin. And it's spelled just the way it sounds, you guys. All right. So we are giving away hundreds of, curl, about hundreds of dollars in Chromex products, per usual. All you have to do is share, 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 share. So um, we are going to pick our first winner from randomly from someone who shares. So that's all, all you right. got to do to win tonight. And so all you have to do is go up in the top of the comments, hit that arrow that says share, and you are all set. That makes you eligible for all of our giveaways tonight. And don't think we're not going to check. We're definitely going to check. <laughs> Shout out to Curl Mix Customer Service, who is in the comments, helping you guys out all night long. Don't forget to ask any questions you might have. Post them in the comments, and hopefully we'll get them. Shout out to all my folks from Oklahoma, who I first I saw pop in there. I did not know we had a customer base in Oklahoma, but I'm <laughs> glad that we do. Oh, and you guys on YouTube, we are watching you. Hey, over there too. Um, you may want to enter to win stuff from Facebook because we can't easily select winners from YouTube. So we'll do our best, but since you can't like share and do stuff there, um, it makes it a little bit limited. Yeah. Okay. We're working on that. We got you, YouTube yeah. family. What's up, Sabrina? She says, hey, Andra. They all say, hey, Andra. <laughs> hey, she said, hey. <laughs> oh, hey, shout hey, out hey. to everybody from Phoenix. I saw a couple Phoenixes go in there. All right, Even all right. New Jersey, Willing Bro. What's that, Monica? Hey, Monica. So I want to, <laughs> so while you guys are sharing, we I want to go ahead and cut to Andra so you guys can see how Andra, I'm going to Oh, you can't forget. Can't forget. You get 20% off till midnight, you guys, if you use the code WGWOCT16. Yes, All right? That stands for Wash and Go Wednesday, October 16th. That's today's date. It's easy to remember. It's also right up there in the comments. I'm sorry, right up there in the description. So remember, we will be cutting off that sale at midnight. So do not delay. If you haven't tried Curl Mix, now is the time. 
All right, so as we have said times before, and we're gonna say it again, the foundation to any bomb washing though is water. You need to have that hair properly saturated. And so if you see that you put some water on there and it starts to bounce back up, which hers is not, but if it does, go ahead and put some more. Take as much time as you need to get fully saturated. That's gonna help you distribute your products properly and be the foundation for your set. Now you see, I did not know that tip. So you can basically tell that the water is soaked up in the hair when it's weighed down and lengthened out. Absolutely, absolutely. You know, we always talk about adding water and making sure your hair is soaked and wet when you do your wash and goes or when you apply products in general. Mm -hmm. But also we talk about it when it comes to that length retention, making sure that your hair is completely soaking wet. I can't tell you how many product reviews on YouTube and videos on Facebook we see where people are just using the spray bottle or they get out of the shower mm -hmm. and start doing their hair and yeah. it just is one of my pet peeves for sure. Yeah. But we love, love, love when you get your hair soaking wet. So if you're at home, the best thing you can do is do your wash and go in the shower. Right? You don't I know you don't have Andre at your house <laughs> and I know you don't have a wash bowl at your house. So make sure you're in the shower getting as much water in your hair as you can. Right. And so on that point, I just want to hit on something. Let's talk about shrinkage. So everybody's like, yo, I have too much shrinkage. I don't like it. I want my hair to be longer. Just want to say this one time for the people in the back. Shrinkage is a good thing. Shrinkage, also known as elasticity, is the bounce back. That means that the hair is doing what it's supposed to do because that's how it grows out of the follicles in the scalp. Okay, so adding this water is going to give you the weight that you need so you can have a little more hang time than you usually have, but we don't want to lose our shrinkage, okay? We want to embrace it as it comes later on throughout our set, throughout the week. All right, you guys. So we are ready to go ahead and select our winners. Um, Andre, let us know when you get ready to do shampoo so we can see how that is applied to her hair, but while you're hydrated, we're going to go ahead and select our winners. So you guys shared, and as promised, we have give, uh, winners. Tim, can you show them what they're going to be winning? Absolutely. So, what Andre will be using on Annika's hair tonight is what you guys can win all night long. And it is a full-size system, you guys. Ooh, that yes. is four product. This is an $80 value for free. All you have to do is share. And so, if you guys want to participate in any of our giveaways, make sure, one, you're here and you're active. You're watching all the way to the end. But the most important thing to make it eligible is sharing. And then, of course, last but not least, we got to spread the love around. So if you've won in the last 30 days, we're going to ask you to sit these ones out so we can spread that <laughs> love around. But don't worry. Next they month, like you that. will be eligible. They don't like that. All right. Your Y'all raise my coming. winners? I have two. Okay? I have not one, but I have two. Okay, so Joanna Rivera, you are going to be our first winner. Thank you so much for sharing, Joanna. Everybody clap it up for Joanna. Yes? <laughs> yes. Joanna's a top fan too. She said, yeah, I've seen plenty of YouTubers not following how you guys use them. Oh yes, the comments are a little delayed, but yes, plenty of YouTubers do not listen to our directions, you guys. So, unfortunately <laughs> for the them. They're on the bottle, they're in the box, they're on the pamphlet, they're on the we website, try. On we try. We try. We do our best, but you know, some people. Oh, uh, Jabrina says, uh, Vanilla Berry is my dream. Okay. It's my favorite too. I don't know if y'all noticed, I got it in right now. I've been working on my technique. It's not, it's not there yet, though. All right. And so all you have to do to win tonight, you guys, is just share the live. Just share the live. Continue to share. Um, and we're going to randomly select winners for that. We also have a little bit of trivia coming. Mm -hmm. um, but it's really about the share. Okay? All right. And then, and our customer service is here online, too, so they double check it. So if, we, if you win and you didn't share... You know, we're going to have to revoke the win. But we... <laughs> Don't we you really got to quiet right there? Let me, let me say that louder for the that's folks the, in the back. That's the radio. You're going to have to revoke the win if okay. you didn't share. Oh, okay. Right? I'm going to give you guys a second winner, but um, Andra's getting ready to shampoo, so let's hop over to Andra. Let's do it. All right, y'all. So, Annika, tell me, how often do you shampoo? Weekly. Weekly? And then, how many times are you shampooing during that session? Um, only once. Only once? Yeah. Okay. So, do you have a dirty job? No. No? Do you ride public transportation? No. Okay. So the reason that I'm being all invasive like this is because I need to know what is on this hair. Even though she's been using curl mix, it's important to know what has she been doing throughout the week since her last session that I need to get off this hair. And that will decide maybe you need two shampoos. Maybe you don't. So when's the last time you cleanse? Um, last Saturday. Last Saturday. It's only Wednesday. So I don't need to go in here and cleanse too much. I just need to make sure that she's good to get set today. So while you guys are, are focusing on 
Annika's hair right now. What's your normal shampoo routine? And let us know if it's kind of affected by your daily life. So if you, like Andre said, if you have a dirty job or if you know that your hair is getting a little bit, needs to be a little bit more clean than normal, say you work out often, let us know and then let us know how you normally shampoo. So for me, when we went on vacation, uh, where did we go? To Belize? Yeah, we went to Belize, I think it was. Um, there was like a dirt road. Oh and yeah, that I was, was nuts. I know, and I went, oh, I did my hair at home, like so I didn't really bring my products. I was like, I, I'm gonna be good. I was so wrong, because we had to travel in like this golf cart yeah, for like that's an hour. The, the, it wasn't that just the dirt road, because if you're inside a car, it'll been fine, but we everywhere you go, there's golf carts. You don't, what is it, on the island we were on, there's only like a hundred or, or fewer cars, so you had to make sure you were riding around in the golf cart, and we got, Super dirty. My hair was disgusting. It was literally <laughs> like covered in dirt because you have to because because not only are you riding on a dirt road, but then the cars are coming past you. So they're like, even if you ride slow, so it don't get too dusty, it's they're riding fast. So because they don't care that you're in a like golf cart and they're in a car. So then my hair was just like really icky by the end of it all. Like so you, you fell out into a dust ball. Question, Kim, did you shampoo after that? Oh, of course, I shampoo weekly. Um, and I think I ended up doing my hair on that trip. I think I had like a little bit of product or something like just in case. Um, and so I absolutely I shampooed my, and I shampooed twice. I shampooed twice. Y'all see that? And so you have to take into consideration what are you doing in your lifestyle? Are you working out five days a week? Are you working out two days a week? Do you have children? Because that's a whole nother thing. Because there can be Cheerios, ketchup, all types of stuff in the back of your hair and you need to get that cleansed out. So just be mindful. Yep, and so we have a lot of people telling us about all of their shampoo routines. So Angela, she said she washes every morning because she can't do second day hair. And then she deep conditions on Saturday and Sunday. And now I know Angela, what is your favorite, favorite um, curl mix set? Angela, let us know. All right, and then uh, Kuma, she says, I usually shampoo and deep condition at least once a week. Um, and then she shampoos twice. So those are going to be different. The, as you can see, everybody kind of has their own schedule. Let's see, okay, Joanna, so she says, says I also shampoo twice. Did you already read Angel's? Angel? No, nah, I didn't. Okay, Angel says once a week, two shampoos, very short hair. Good job, Angel. <laughs> um, Angela says, I wash every All morning. Right, Angela oh, and okay, Kuma. my bad. Yep, All right, so Joanna, Joanna says, I shampoo twice in condition from um, my mid scalp down. Nitsa That's says, um, is the mango line going to be focused towards deep cleaning, clarifying the scalp? Not too sure what else tea tree, else, tea tree does since I have sensitive skin. So Nitsa, we are, the tea tree, okay, so Nitsa is, Nitsa is talking about the special limited edition that I let you guys choose. Um, and you guys chose mango fragrance and uh, tea tree oil. So, tea tree oil is usually something that people will look forward to the tea to on their scalp. And they're yep. like, but we're not doing it in the shampoo and condition. We're only doing it in the moisturizer, the gel, yeah. so uh, the body butter, and the tea tree oil is very good for like anti its antibacterial properties. So that's yes. probably what she's referencing. But we won't be using it in the shampoo, right? Yes. So you don't have to worry about that. So I guess she's probably gonna wants to know like the benefits of like general in general on your hair. We will get to that. You will see more about that when we launch it, and we will share more details about that as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, We're working really but hard prepping that. Tea tree oil you. is so powerful that you have to put it with the carrier oil, and the carrier oil will be grapeseed oil. So that I know has like um, hydrating properties because it's fine enough to the oil is thin enough to actually penetrate the strand of your hair versus something that's a bit heavier like castor or shea butter that kind of sits on top. Okay. All right, and I'm, we're going to read a couple more, and then we're going to announce our second giveaway winner. You ready for that, Kim? Yes. So Brittany says, mine's affected by my daily life. I work in a lab with soil, um, or she says, I work in a lab or land. I think so. With soils, uh, so fine clay dust particles can be floating around. So depending on my work day, I'll rinse my hair out in the shower and condition and twist it. Good job, Brittany. Yes, yeah, so that'll really, be cleaning the hair. I remember my days working in the lab. It was, granted, it was a social studies lab, and the most we got were like you were, older folks. Right, you were but not. It was like you're always in like these dusty corners in the middle of somebody's like research center oh, basement. Those labs were never clean. Yeah, they <laughs> as much as we tried, they were never clean. All right, we have our second winner, you guys. Y'all ready? <laughs> 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 Tammy Moore. Tammy, you are a winner tonight. I love, and you win. Love that drum roll right there. Right, right. Can you show everybody what Tammy won? So Tammy will also be taking home her full-size vanilla berry wash and go system. Woo! 
congratulations. Worth over 80 bucks, no shipping, none of that. You get it completely free just for tuning in and sharing. So if you guys want to win, all you have to do is share tonight. We'll have our next giveaway is going to be a numbers giveaway. So you have to share, but you also have to guess the correct number from 1 to 100. Mm. Y'all ready? Y'all ready? So. Go. I'm, right. I'm, I'm girding my loins. Y'all know how I feel about the numbers. So we're going to head back to Andre so we can see how the hair looks after it's been rinsed out. All right. Oh, we're on the conditioning phase already. Okay. Let's do it. All right. Y'all see what we're working with here? All right. So hair has been completely rinsed. So what we don't want to do is leave a little shampoo in there. Remember that we're building a wash and go. And so that's why we start with water and that's why we want to start with properly cleansed hair. And once it's cleansed, we want to go ahead and get all that residue out so that we can put our conditioner in and let it do what it does. So we want to make sure that we have adequate water because conditioner is one of those things that it can just go in one place if it's oh, I gotta, pretty heavy. I gotta use my special technique. Yeah, that's what it is. Okay. That's the flick right there. Y'all be careful. Make Patent sure the top is closed so you don't get none on the floor, okay? Um, but yeah, so if I'm going in here and I'm going to saturate um, and I feel like the product isn't moving, um, our handy dandy water. That's what we're going to reach for, okay? Because we want to not necessarily use more product unless we need it. So this is the opportunity for you to get to know your hair, to get personal and say, okay, what does my hair need? Does it need more water or does it need more product? So I've noticed I have super, super short hair. Um, and so I also often find that I need to re-wet it because it kind of just rolls right off the scalp. Yeah. I'm not quite sure whether it's absorbing or not kind of just kind of feel for the weight of it. Um, but definitely that sh that conditioner goes a long way. It's really, really thick and it's nice and creamy. And I just love the way it feels in my hair, especially as those coils start to form. You can yes. already kind of see everything starting to define even as she works it through. Um, I really, really like that conditioner for sure. Yeah, so one of the things that Annika told me is how do you detangle at home? Um. I finger detangle. You finger detangle? Do you have a detangling tool? Um, no, I do not. Okay, so now we get to debut something that I know all of y'all have really been waiting for. Tim, you wanna go ahead and give it a... Yes, yeah, so we finally have the brushes. They are here and they are waiting for you. So they are curl mix specific. Um, and they're perfect if you have long hair or short hair. They're hyper flexible, really, really durable and they are just comfortable in the hand. I love, love, love I don't know why that group. They cannot buy that right now. <laughs> you can't buy it now, yes. <laughs> but they are here. Yes. They are here. We have them. So look <laughs> out for those. That, I don't want to get your hopes up. You can't buy it yet, but look out for it. It is coming. Yes. Yeah, so I know y'all have been waiting on that. So be excited because they promised you something and it's going to come through. Kahara, she said, yes, the brush. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, um, so many people are hyping the brush. One of them like, brush it! <laughs> I can't contain all of this excitement. I'm, I don't even know if I'm conveying it the right way. <laughs> Everybody is loving the brush. All right, y'all, so we have our third winner. Y'all ready? Y'all ready? Oh, and this is not for the numbers. Sorry, this is a... You just giving away an extra one? Yeah, my bad. Oh, I'll be right back. <laughs> I gotta so, keep looking. Kim <laughs> just loves giving away products, as do I. So let's go ahead and give away a third wash and go system. And then we're gonna give away a fourth one that's for the numbers. So all you guys who are still posting your numbers, I haven't seen a winner yet, but that doesn't necessarily mean it wasn't chosen. I saw a few people get really, really close. They're still really so close I'm thinking. Not one yet. Okay, so I don't think we have a winner yet. So that your opportunity is still there. And remember, there is one number per comment, right? One number per comment. I know a bunch of people start posting uh, towards the end three and four numbers in a comment. I saw one person post one through 20 in a comment before. Nah, that, that won't fly. We need, it's one per comment. But you guys are getting really close. I'll give you a hint since it's been going for a little while. It's up there. It's a really high number. Hey! Hey, what you mean, hey? hey. <laughs> it's too late. It's out there. I've spoken. But our third winner, our third winner, not for the numbers, but our just third giveaway winner, because she shared, is Brittany, is that Jones? Brittany yes. Jones. Mrs. Congratulations. Jones. Mrs. Jones. Mrs. Jones. I feel like Kim did that on purpose. There's a little bias we right there. We got a thing. 
sorry. <laughs> Facebook yeah, gonna yeah. cut off uh, the live yeah, copyright infringement. Um, no, my my so, my maiden name is Jones, so you know. Mm -hmm. I shouldn't have said that. I didn't get in my bank accounts. No, oh. I'm, I'm just kidding. Crazy, crazy. <laughs> it's getting worse. I got issues. <laughs> I got issues. Anyway. She say? She's proud of her heritage. Um, but Cynthia Jake says, oh, wow, I like your curls, Tim. Looking good. They, yeah, they all right. They all right. Yes. And you guys, I need a trim. If you want, all you have to do is screenshot the end of this live that says, this live has ended, and you email it to us at info at com. okay? Um, Helen is hilarious. She posted 1, a thousand. 1, That's hilarious. <laughs> it's um, one through 100. It's one through 100, guys. So the yes. numbers are one through 100. We want to make it a little easy. We would never, ever have you guess one through 1,000. That would <laughs> right. be crazy. That would be bogus. Okay, I think I see a winner. Sandra Robinson Compton. Yes. So many people wrote 91. I was like, oh my gosh, they're going to be so upset when they find out the answer is 92. <laughs> so, Sandra, you are our winner for the numbers giveaway. Congratulations, Sandra. Sandra is an OG, triple OG. She's yes. been here forever. Yes. Congratulations, Sandra. Yes. See, she started and posting all the And can you show Sandra what 90s. she won? Sandra, you are the winner of our full Vanilla Berry Wash and Go system. Boop. I feel like I should just keep holding this up because everybody keeps winning. Tim, you're the right? Vanna White. So, we have Brittany Jones and Sandra. Two Let winners. it grow, Tim. It looks great, says Marla. Thank you. They be Thank gassing you, you, Tim. You know, I get a lot of support from the. That's why I do this for uh, all, <laughs> all of the encouragement that I get. That's why I come to these Washington Wednesdays. Oh, my Hanging goodness. Hanging out with my peeps who love me. When he was thinking about um, getting his hair done or whatever, uh, doing, growing his hair out, he's like, Kim, what do you think? How do you. you know, I've never, Tim has never asked me so many questions about his appearance and his life. Mm -hmm. Literally, I sometimes have to beg him to take showers. Like, you know, and for him to be into his hair is the funniest thing. You mean to get haircuts. Oh, haircuts. that too. I'd take showers. Right I don't know how she tried to shave well, me right No, there. Timmy over here be clowning but me, no. telling y'all all the stuff he's not supposed to tell y'all. <laughs> right. No problem. Haircut. No problem. Exactly. I'm, I'm a fan. I, I, you know what's crazy? I never really grew my hair out because it was always just really easy to keep it short. You know, brush your hair every now and again and then get a haircut. But, you know, sometimes as a dad now, I could go like two months. Cara, she says, I said 92 as well. Cara, I promise you we were looking. Facebook only shows us certain things. I have to go with what I can see on my end. But there are still chances to win. And no worry, if you didn't win, you can get 20% off until midnight. All you have to do is click the link in the description or go to our website, buy whatever, and you'll get 20% off no matter how small your order is using the code. All right, this brings me to my next giveaway. All you have to do is share the live and write the code to win tonight, mm -hmm. and I'm going to pick a random winner, okay? So now you have a chance to win right now. See, look at Kelly. They she called said, you lazy. Men Dorothy love called you lazy. Mix. Why she got you lazy? You know. No yo, shower yo, till. Oh, Marla, they clowning you. <laughs> my no bad. haircut. That love Trust changed me. real quick. Right, <laughs> right, right. So, you, know, you know, I get a lot of love from the people who are kind of new. But the old folks, they, they know me too well. It's just like how your family will get down on you, but your friends will keep building you up. That's how I feel. All the OGs, they love me, but, you know, they'll give it to me straight. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Oh, Charlene says, Kim, you look so beautiful. Aww. That was so sweet. Thank you, Charlene. It's the pregnancy glow. I got two weeks left, y'all. Mm, two two. weeks. I'm trying yeah. to hide my and belly, but it's kind of... You can see that? I don't even know if they can see it. They, who knows? It's all right. It's coming, y'all. We, we are ready. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. So I'm gonna let our customer service pick a winner for everyone who wrote the code. So whoever code, whoever comment gets liked will be our winner tonight, okay? okay. So pay attention, whoever comments WDWOCT16, you will be our winner for tonight. And I'm gonna let customer service pick. Yep, and make sure you share the live because I haven't really seen that share number go up. So I'm hoping everybody who's tagging those, who's writing the code has shared as well. Make sure you share. And let's check in on our step two. We're detangling now. All right. Um, so we are actually sitting up, so we may have to um, adjust the camera just sure, a no little problem. bit. Sure, no problem. Just so we can, or you gonna, um, if you can lean back a little bit, Arnica. That would, is that helpful? Yep. All right. So we are working it out, y'all. Let's see. At, ooh, we have a couple comments that I would love to get to. <laughs> Alexia, she said, don't hide the belly. You are glowing, Kim. We're not trying to hide the belly. It can't be hidden at this point. <laughs> you, uh, that hiding face, that's over with. Y'all, don't there. get a husband, okay? <laughs> don't get Jabril, she said, is the nesting real? Look, I, 
I would say we had a lot, st- a lot of stuff left over from Zuri. He's still he's less than two years old, so we don't, we're pretty prepared, right? Haven't done much nesting. We're just gonna kind of like shift all that stuff down to the next baby. All right. Oh, and we I don't know if we have we did we do the gender reveal? Oh, we haven't. We don't wait. Maybe next week. Let's do just it next week. <laughs> we'll let you guys know what our baby is going to be. It's exciting, but we are definitely preparing for it. So, you guys will see us next week where we will reveal the gender. Alright, so, can you tell us a little bit about how you're detangling her hair? Because she kind of has like, I don't know what you'd describe it. Would it be like mid-length, short, or what would you kind of categorize it as? Yeah, so, um, I would say it's about mid-length. Now, the thing is this. It's not so much length sometimes, it's density. So if you see in here, I can't see no scalp. She is on the higher end of the spectrum when it comes to density, which just means you ever see somebody and you say, ooh, they got a lot of hair. That's what you're talking about. <laughs> you're talking about their density. You see Kim, that's a lot of hair. Uh, yes. Okay, and so what that means is you need to make sure you take your time getting through here with this detangling tool because you are shedding, what, 70 to 100 hairs a day? Possibly, right? And so at the end of the week when you're going in to do your hair and detangle, you need to get that shed hair out. That can cause problems for the ends of your hair and all types of things if you don't get it out correctly. So the detangling tool comes in handy at that step. Awesome. Stay over here. So I'm just going to stay over here just for a little bit longer so you guys can uh, see her hair. As you can see, I'm just working her way from the ends and then moving up. Um, and this part uh, takes a little bit longer just in general. For me, y'all know when I was detangling my hair, um, it took me about 40 minutes to, before I actually styled or started styling. Shampoo took about 10 minutes, but detangling was like 20 to 30 sometimes. Because my hair is long and it's uh, kinky and I have to be delicate with it. I want to make sure I'm starting from the ends. So, yeah, how, um, how are you feeling, Annika? It's not <laughs> pulling too much, right? No, it's not. It's fine. How's the glide as it goes through? Are you getting a lot of like resistance or is it kind of moving through pretty, pretty good? Because I know um, she said she did it Saturday, right? Kind of moving through pretty good. Not, it's not that bad. <laughs> when was your uh, last trim? Um, recently, actually. Um, oh, okay, cool. Like maybe two weeks ago. Okay, two weeks ago. And when you get it trimmed, do you get it trimmed when it's straight or curly? Um, that time when I got my hair trimmed, my hair was straight. Gotcha. Yeah. So Andra's not sectioning her hair because Andra again is a stylist, but if. You're a hair texture like mine or Annika's, you definitely want to use some clips when you're at home. Because <laughs> I would just, you know, my hair would get all tangled all over again. Um, but because she's kind of laying still, her hair is kind of falling and she, it's not getting tangled again as she's going through it. And yeah. you can see she can finger the tangle as she's going, after she's done it with the brush. Yeah, so this is my test. So I'll go through with the brush, but I should be able to put this down and come right across the back. So if I'm getting some resistance, I go back to those ends just to make sure I'm being thorough. And you got to think about it. You're only doing this maybe two times a week, right? And so if we're doing this, we're going to be really thorough, making sure we get those ends and work our way up. My test then, once I'm done, this is giving you have enough water in that hair, enough product, is to be able to actually glide across the scalp because the hair should be able to go through that brush or comb if that's what you're using. So, so Joanna? Ta- one second. Joanna. Taffy, I, oh. I gotta read Taffy's comment. Oh. She said the tangle is what takes her the most time. So now her boyfriend is just like, I'm gonna go watch a movie while you detangle. <laughs> <laughs> so Joanna says, um, do you recommend that um, all curly hair uses a detangling tool? I do. Personally, I do. Now, here's the thing. Um, Some people think it's daunting, especially if you've never used it before, and so I want to actually let y'all hear something. So if I take this hair, you hear that? People get scared at that sound because they're going, oh, no, I'm ripping my hair out. But if we look at this brush, for her density, this isn't bad at all, okay? So that ripping, that's just the sound of the friction, but ripping is like, not having any product, not having any any water, and trying to detangle on dry hair. You would definitely rip your hair out. So for this, as long as it's saturated properly, you should be able to take that brush through with no problem, and I definitely recommend it. Gotcha. And you guys know, even with my hair, um, I still, and it depends on how often you're doing your washing on, of course, but I still get a decent amount of shed hair, but that's because we have a lot of hair. So it's not going to be this, shedding is different for everyone. 
Um, if your hair is much finer, you probably shouldn't have that much. You might have half as much, you know. Um, but her, her, hair, her hair is dense, but also kinky too, so it's going to clump up and look like more as well. Yeah, so think about your hair, your shed hair, relative to your actual density. Don't look at it compared to anybody else's. And make sure that you recognize, if you're learning your hair and getting to know it, what is shed hair versus hair that is falling out. Those are not the same things. And so if you are concerned about the amount of hair relative to your density, you may want to seek out a dermatologist to make sure that you don't have any um, disorders or maybe even nutritional deficiencies and things like that. Making sure you go to the experts to get the care that you need. So someone says, um, should they pre-poo before uh, shampooing? So uh, pre-pooing is often um, oil, correct? I think so, yeah, when okay. people like cover their hair in oil before right. they shampoo. Yeah. And so I think that the um, objective there is to soften the hair, right, to make it so that you can get through it. Um, if you're doing your hair on a weekly basis or even like every week and a half, um, you don't need to pre-poo, and I would not recommend that, putting those raw oils on that hair. I would, however, recommend making sure that you don't go too long between your sessions so that the hair isn't so difficult to detangle. And so when we're coming in on hair that's just been cleansed within the last seven to 10 days, we're okay to go ahead and just put that water and that shampoo on there to start. Uh, somebody also asked, um, here. Someone also asked, uh, when you are detangling, um, should you, oh, I just missed the question. I'll okay, get it back. Let me go back. <laughs> so we are going to go ahead and rinse out that hair. Uh oh, there we go. She's getting a little. I'll get a towel for you, um, Annika. <laughs> Let me. No, you're good. You're good. I'm gonna just dab her face just a little bit. There you go. <laughs> Bless you. No, I'm kidding. I was totally kidding. I was totally kidding. That's what it was. Okay. It was. They had a. It was Carmela. She asked, "Is it better to get your hair trimmed when it's straight or when it's in its curly state?" Great question. So get your hair cut in the state that you wear it most. If you're wearing your hair straight 80 to 90% of the time, go ahead and get it cut straight. If you're wearing it curly, then your best bet is to get a curly cut. The reason why is because the, the principles and techniques used to cut hair when it's curly versus when it's wet, or straight rather, um, aren't the same. There are different techniques and different things that have to be used. And so you want to have that cohesion. Now let's say you get it cut curly, but you want to wear it straight. All you gotta do is throw a bump in it. You know what I'm saying? Like you get you some, some curls a little bit on the ends and you won't be able to see so much. Now, I know people don't like to have, you know, either or, but one thing you cannot do is you can't have that perfect blunt cut and also have a cohesive curly cut because it just doesn't translate. The curls live in a very different place as three-dimensional hair than does straight two-dimensional hair. Okay, you guys, so I see you guys commenting on YouTube and they're like, are y'all looking at this? We see it, we just kind of balance both. We got hundreds of people on our Facebook um, and so... Um, we got to answer a question from YouTube. Yes. So let's impact, does hair absorb more water in the shower? I'm assuming um, they're ref they're kind of trying to compare it to something. So maybe the better question is, what method of getting your hair wet gives you the most absorption? Okay. Um, so when we're talking about absorption, we're talking about what the hair has the capacity to do. That's not going to be so much where you are when you're doing your hair as much as it is the state of your hair. So if your hair is not absorbing water um, or product, there could be multiple factors. It could be the porosity of your hair. It could be that um, you are in a dehydrated state because you don't cleanse and condition regularly enough. So it could be um, a couple of different things. But what I would say is being able to get under the stream in the shower is usually most beneficial for people at home. All right, and so I want to also go ahead and take this time to announce the last winner. So we had you guys share the live and then post the code. So we have a winner for yes, that. Yes, yes, Tim. Who is our winner? So it is... You want to go ahead and try your um, drum roll again, Kim? Ah, you didn't say it. <laughs> <laughs> She's ashamed of her drum roll. It's <laughs> Lynette Washington. Ooh, so Lynette will be Lynette. going home with our Vanilla Berry Wash and Go system. That is an $80 value completely free. All you got to do is make sure you share the live, guys, and then um, and then participate in these giveaways, and you too can win, just like Lynette. You got, and if you feel like 
80 bucks is quite a bit. You can save 20% if you use the code WDWOCT16. It's right below um, on the little panel here, and you can use that until midnight to get 20% off. So that's and like we said, awesome. it is the biggest discount we give outside of Black Friday. So if you want to skip all that Black Friday rush, go ahead and order now on Wash and Go Wednesday. Yes. So I want to get back to Andre so you guys can see her upon the moisturizer. Okay. Absolutely. We're on step three if you, for all those following along at home. Nita says, I'm getting sad. Why are you getting sad, Nita? What we'll promise <laughs> ever do a deep conditioner? Maybe, Yolanda. Mm -hmm. Stay tuned. Uh, so cute how Kim just popped right on in the camera and came back on to Tim. I love it. Oh, thank you. Thank you. So how are we doing over here, Andre? Are we adding the moisturizer first? Yes, we're adding the moisturizer. So what you can see here is I'm able to get through pretty easily. So you shouldn't be running into a bunch of tangles and things after you detangle properly. Now one thing you may run into is um, depending on when you had your last haircut and the condition of your ends, it may tangle a little bit, but you should be able to just go ahead and separate and then finish saturating that product onto the hair. Awesome, awesome, awesome. And so is there something, so I know for me, Sometimes I have to like re-wet the hair. Do mm -hmm. you have, will you have to do that with Annika? So yes, again, because of her density. So if you look in here, there's no products in there. And if I don't get that product saturated, that's not going to be the best wash and go ever. And so what we <laughs> want to do is make sure we add more water because we're not rinsing. Do not rinse this out. This is not cheap, okay? We're going to add more water to help distribute that product. And when I say add more water, I mean put, if you're in the shower, okay, this is what I do. I like run and dunk and then I like get out because I don't want to rinse it out. So I'm going to put this on low, and I'm just going to add a little bit of water in here. You can see that it's weighing it down some, and that's going to allow me to go in and move that product around the way that I need to. So if you're in the shower, just kind of like dunk your head underneath the stream um, of the water, and yeah, that'll help you distribute the way you need to. And if I see here that the, it's just sitting on top of the hair like some of it is, you may need to work it in. So take your time with this, okay? The things that are the best, take time. Yes, like good marriages and <laughs> <laughs> partners and, you know, all that jazz. Wine, all that good wine. Mm -hmm. all those See, y'all got A it. A good cobbler. Whatever analogy works for you. <laughs> <laughs> right. Clearly, I Very have some in the fridge. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so pregnant, y'all. I'm so pregnant. Oh, my goodness. So it's funny. I didn't mean, need to. She said, speaking of, what's going to be our Black Friday sale, y'all? Spill the tea. Do not. Lisa, we ain't spilling Lisa, no Lisa, tea. you're trying to get all the tea way too early. <laughs> it is October. Black Friday <laughs> is a whole month away. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Okay. Um, yes, can we get more info about Black, Black Friday sales? <laughs> Leticia, y'all are so you funny. Y'all have I a whole, a it's whole my month. Fault. It's my fault. I am so don't, sorry. Don't look too forward. Take, so we we got to do get, it like athletes. You know, take it one game at a time. You can get 20% off until midnight. <laughs> and that is a wonderful deal. Okay, you guys can definitely use that. They say, oh my gosh, Cobbler. They laughing at me. Marla, yes. I actually have some in the refrigerator. We haven't opened. I'm going to heat it up tonight when we get home. What you know else? what's crazy, though? I don't know. If you guys follow the Curl Mix Instagram, if you check us out, Instagram.com slash Curl Mix, or just search us on the Instagram app. You guys can kind of see what we're working on in the background from Black Friday. Kim's been dropping hints. So if you've been following along there, or if you haven't been following along there, you are missing out. So make sure to give us a follow um, on our Instagram. So that's Instagram.com slash CurlMix or at CurlMix on Instagram. So for this next giveaway, I just want you guys, and if you've never won before, you can be creative. But you guys, of course, have to share, right? Because we're, we're checking that all night long. But two, let us know in the comments why you love CurlMix. And if you haven't tried CurlMix, why you think you might love CurlMix, that works too. Um, and we're going to go ahead and read some of you guys' comments while we check out Andra as she applies product. Are you <laughs> when you left? I'm sorry, I started reading the comments. Oh, okay. Tim is never too early to think about the holidays. Uh, <laughs> he can't hold water. Tim would yeah, tell Jordan, him Kim wasn't there. <laughs> That's true. I would not tell you guys what's going on for Black Friday. The whole team is planning something big, and I'll leave it at that. I'll drop a, some small hints, but I'll never give up the whole thing. Trust me, I'm not a rookie at this. So, Phyllis says, what about shorter hair? Use models with short hair. So, Phyllis, we use models with short hair. Just recently, we had a model with much shorter hair um, than Annika. We use a variety. So, we've only been doing this for almost like maybe two months. 
Yep, and we've had people who have had uh, looser textures, we've had long textures, we've had kinky textures, we, the list goes on and on. So we've had o older women, we've had younger women, we've yes. had, yeah. We've my had mom the whole has been gamut. here, my mom has gray hair. So we do our best to have a variety of textures um, every Wednesday. So just check out our previous videos on Facebook.com backslash Chrome Mix. Um, and we post some of them on, actually on YouTube. We yeah, have a, a recent post. Say, if you follow us on YouTube, so that's YouTube.com slash Chrome Mix, our channel, we repost every Wash and Go Wednesday in a handy dandy little recap. We well, try. We try to do everyone. <laughs> but we, we definitely have at least two um, our live streams. And all of our live streams are on YouTube. So definitely check it out too. And I want to say one thing about that. Diversity and representation is very, very important. But don't forget, this is hair we're talking about. And a lot of these things are applicable across the board. You need water, no matter how short or long your hair is. That's a great point, actually. So one of the things we try to teach with the curl mix method is it's re whether you're using curl mix, whether you have long hair, short hair, what have you, there is a method to how to get the best wash and go ever. So those four steps, that cleansing, conditioning, moisturizing, styling, um, and then setting the curls at the end is what you can use regardless of what product you use and regardless of what hair type you have. So I'm gonna pull up some of these comments, and I'm gonna let, well while I'm doing that, I'm gonna let Andre talk through. So she, Andre, you already added the gel, or are you adding it now? I'm getting ready to add the gel now. Okay, gotcha, 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 gotcha. So yeah, what you saw me doing, what you see me doing now, is working that in. There are some spots because she's on the higher end of the spectrum as far as density. Um, we need to get some product over there. So what I suggest, if you have enough water, then you're distributing that product, you can actually squeeze a little bit. Y'all see that? Y'all see that drip right there? We're going to work that into where there is not any products, okay? Because we want really, really good saturation. And I want to say to Dee Blair on YouTube, uh, her highlighter is popping, ain't it? Okay. <laughs> um, but thank you, okay? You said you like the stylist today. I hope that the information that we're giving out is helpful to you, okay? What, uh, what highlighter are you using, Annika, just because people are asking? Um, I'm using um, Jackie Ina's. Okay, Jackie Ina's. Yeah, it's um, <laughs> LeBron's. Oh, okay. LeBron. Oh, that's hilarious. <laughs> I love that. I love that. <laughs> that is hilarious. Okay, so I'm going to read some of these comments. Um, so, Winifred says, your videos are the bomb and very educational. Thank you, Winifred. Jabrina says, I love Chromix because it's the only thing that saves my hair in this Florida heat. And unfortunately, there have been times where I've tried different uh, problems. Sorry. I have tried different problems, so I felt it made a huge... Okay, I can't, I'm having a hard time reading that. Products. products. Oh, she meant products. Okay. I have tried different products, and I feel I made a huge mistake and ran from Chromix, and my hair has brought it back to life. I think I read that all wrong. Um, I am so sorry. So I'm going to go to the next one. Yolanda says, I love trying to get the best wash and go with Curl Mix. I purchased it but wasn't using it in, uh, wasn't using it but was bragging about your product. Thanks for the great definition. Okay, I'm, either I'm reading these wrong or like, okay, my bad. I'm going to keep going. Leslie says, I love Curl Mix because I get a week or more of popping curls. It gives me time to do other things in my life. The products are effective, a little goes a long way, and I can read each and every ingredient. Yes, Leslie. Leslie's going to be my winner. I'm going to let me, I'm going to pick a winner, and Tim's going to pick a winner. Okay. All right, so I'm going to read Beverly. So Beverly, she said, I get so many compliments on my hair, curls, and shine. Oh, and then I lost it. <laughs> <laughs> let me see. Maybe I can see. I'm on my phone. Um, and that way I think I can see Beverly. Oh. I want to jump in oh, yeah, and address um, a, a comment real quick if I can. Yes. So on YouTube, um, Phyllis, if you asked a question and we missed it, uh, go ahead and throw that back up for us. These are going, you know, down the screen really fast. I want to make sure that you get the answer that you need if we yeah. have it. But on, on YouTube, Les M asks, how often should low porosity hair be washed? Yes. So um, low porosity hair. So remember, the porosity is about... Um, how the hair absorbs and there's another question that says um, since it doesn't absorb products well which package do you recommend so I will uh, clarify this porosity is about absorption rate how how quickly you are able to absorb and really how you hold that the, um, those products or that water and so it's not necessarily that um, you need a specific product because you're low porosity. It's really about the time you need to take to make sure that hair is receiving that product. Please let us know if that makes sense. Okay, so let me see. Beverly was saying, oh, 
Oh, Good really news. quickly though, I if think you guys not. aren't sure what product to use, we have a great resource for you. So if you go to curlmix.com, check out our curl quiz. It will give you a personalized recommendation for what products works best by asking you all about one, your hair, what you've done before, how you like it, all those great things. We have a, a survey that you can take that will return you a result. Um, and you'll get a nice little bonus at the end. Wink, wink. But I will say that for, for the kinkiest textures, the, uh, the line with the castor oil, I, normally I would say don't put cat. I don't recommend putting pure castor oil directly on your hair because that will uh, block, the, block it from penetrating, I mean allowing water to penetrate it, right? So it'll be really hard to get off. So I'm not recommending pure castor oil, but our product does uh, have a little bit of it in there. And because of like the fatty properties of castor, it makes the gel kind of a different texture and helps the cr uh, kinkiest curls kind of become a bit more smooth. So I recommend that or our fragrance free line for our type four people. And then for our type threes, you go, go ahead and do the jojoba line or the um, hemp line. And then for all of our type two customers who have like a wavier texture, like our Latina or Caucasian customers, uh, our lemon fragrance um, has arginal, organic arginal in it, which is gonna be really lightweight and not gonna weigh your hair down. So just a quick tidbit for those of you who had questions about which ones to use. All right, and I think I have my winner. So for this last giveaway, we asked you, why do you love curl mix? And so my winner will be Denise Howlett. She says, I love curl mix because it's the only natural organic product that makes my hair feel moisturized and curls pop without the crunch. It's like heaven in a bottle for my kinky curly type four hair. Heaven in a bottle. <laughs> she loves it. Also, she loves What's Kim and Tim. Name a product that, right. Heaven in a bottle. <laughs> That's nice. We're gonna, we gonna credit Denise Howlett for that one. She said, um, I love it. I also love Kim and Tim. They are so informative and friendly. And I also like supporting Illinois black owned companies. I also live in Illinois, so shout out to all those Illini, all right. Illinois fans. But thank you so much, Denise. That was a beautiful, beautiful message, and you will be my winner. And so Kim selected a winner. I forget the name, but we said it a little bit earlier, but yes. you guys will win our Vanilla Berry Wash and Go system. I think it was Leslie. Right. Leslie was my winner. Yes. Might have been, yeah. So make sure you share the live if you want to win another one, because we're going to go right into another giveaway we're going to be doing trivia if you guys are ready for some trivia let me see some hearts let me see some likes uh once you guys are ready i see those going across the screen i'll know that people are focused and paying attention they got their google going all right i see tamika wilkins she's got the i and i going that I oh L -L. she heard me okay I I. <laughs> I'm, like, I'm extra corny <laughs> uh, school spirit no, i don't get it uh. yes i don't know if y'all know this but we both went to the university of illinois Yes. Awesome. All, All right. right. But uh, if you guys want to win this next giveaway, it will be trivia. So get ready. Get your Google food out there. Google food. Get it ready. Warm it up. All right. So it's go coming. ahead, Tim. Y'all ready? You go ahead and ask the question. I don't know. Tim, oh, I, actually, I, I see people. I see people going. They're ready. Trivia. Right. Trivia. Yes. Yes. That way it's no numbers. So you got. You know the answer. You know the answer. All right. All right. Let me read some. Right, and then I YouTube see some. Yeah, I was just about to say, if you're on YouTube, you can participate in this one as well. I'm gonna be watching both screens. All right, <laughs> Tammy. She said the answer is 42. I love that, Tammy. But it's not 42. I haven't even said the question. Um, Gianna says, do hair types really matter? So for the oils, um, it matters really more for your texture, just because. Um, some absorb more easily into others and then some can weigh others down. So it does kind of matter. Like if you have a type 2 hair and you use the vanilla berry line with castor oil, you may not have the best results because you feel like it weighs your hair down. So it does matter. Um, so make sure you get the one that's for you. Take our quiz or you can just follow my recommendation. Either one works fine. Um, Phyllis says, um, my hair is very short and not so easy to manage. Um, Gianna says, do hair, uh, I'm oh, sorry, I read Gianna's already. D. Blair says, curl mix gives me crazy definition. All right, so Tim, are you ready for your trivia? Yes, I am ready. So I, I see all the people, they got their likes and their hearts going. Everyone is ready. So I'll give us a little preference and I'll read the question and I'm going to be looking for the first correct answer that I see. I'm going to be uh, checking while you run. Uh, yeah, so asking. Kim is going to be there ready and checking, looking at those answers. But remember, It'll be the first correct answer we see, not necessarily the first correct answer that you see. Facebook and YouTube can be a little weird about their timings. 
But we're going to do our best to get it right on this one. So, for all of those people who are following Curlmix very closely, whether you purchased from us before, or you're on our mailing list, or you follow us on social media, you will know that over the weekend we did a huge sale uh, where we gave away a free lavender body butter. So for all those people who got that free lavender body butter, congratulations, you're going home with an amazing product and it's probably already shipped. But remember, uh, this weekend was a holiday. It was Indigenous People's Day that was celebrated on this um, past Monday. And so my question for you all uh, in celebration and honor of Indigenous People's Day, what was the first official year Indigenous People's Day was celebrated in the United States. All right. All right. And so people were probably wondering, like, we had our body butter giveaway. Yeah, um, we gave away a free butter over the weekend. And I just want you guys to kind of see, this is the texture of the butter. It's really creamy. It's, and it's not whipped, so it's not full of air. Um, and I'm going to show you guys how it kind of just goes on my hand. It's like, like, a, like a legit butter. Like, it literally melts like butter. This is way too much. Babe, you want to take some? I got you. Okay. I moisturized today, so it'll just be <laughs> Okay, there we go. Well, it was a lot. <laughs> but it's really, really dense. It will last you all through the holiday, um, at least a few months. So that's the difference. Just so you guys can see what you got. All right, so I'm going to look. Um, we have our answers. Let's see, let's see, let's see. We, got, we might have to go back. I think I saw the first correct answer. All right. And so I, think it, I think I saw I pulled up on what's Facebook the, uh, first. Let me see. The, the correct answer is... Uh, okay, I'm gonna keep going, keep going. Mmm, I don't see the end. Oh, wait, Carmella. Does Carmella have it? I believe so. Carmella! Carmella Be uh, Barnett, you are our winner! Congratulations! 1992 was the answer. 1992. Uh, for all those people uh, posting the 1492, <laughs> that was <laughs> correct. Sorry, guys. You have to keep in mind that was, that was just a misunderstanding. The holiday there. used to be Columbus Day, now it's Indigenous People's Day. You yes. know, it was even on my Google Calendar mm -hmm. and my iCalendar Calendar and all that. But other it was first stuff. celebrated by the United States, a first officially celebrated in California in 1992. They were the first state to recognize it, um, and then it kind of spread since then. So now, quite a few states, cities, principalities, they refer they um, celebrate Indigenous People's Day. In lieu of Columbus Day. Hey, congrats. Denise, uh, they still submitting answers. Y'all are funny. <laughs> we got our winner. We got our winner. You know, that, that Christopher Columbus thing has a rhyme, right? Christopher Columbus sailed the ocean blue in 1492. Oh, that's why they're saying 1492. Yeah. Oh, that's hilarious. I'm I sorry, guys. That's that uh, public school teacher right there. <laughs> we, got, we got you. But congratulations to our winner, Carmella. You will be going home with your Vanilla Bear Wash and Go system. Congratulations. Make sure everyone who wants to participate shares the live. Um, so we'll be doing a few more giveaways. Remember, we're giving away hundreds, hundreds of dollars each Wash and Go Wednesday for free for you. All we ask of you is to share the live and participate. Have fun. Ask your questions. And then learn how to get the best Wash and Go ever. So we it's have two easy. more giveaways, you guys. But we are going to... Oh, let me... um. Set up real quick, and I'm. A, yes. uh, or actually, can Anika stand up? Or? Well, I'm gonna read a few comments first while we get everybody set up because we had some folks on YouTube um, and some folks in the Facebook live asking some questions. So Patricia Johnson, right away, she said, "You learn something new every single day." That's one of my goals, right? I think I'm an educator at heart, so I want to make sure that you guys are learning something. Um, congratulations to our winners. I love everybody who's giving the love um, to all of our winners. Um, that Ashley, she said, man, history is hard. Sorry, Ashley, if you didn't win, but there are a few more easy giveaways coming. So don't, don't lose hope. There's more in store for you guys coming up. All right, Andre, can you show us, uh, can you tell everybody what you're focusing on doing with your fingers? Yeah, so what I'm doing now is just smoothing that hair down. Um, one of the things that the conditioner does is lays that cuticle down and leaves those emollients and things on there so that it's easy to manage. So when you're setting the hair, we're smoothing. So that's what you see me doing with my fingers, is smoothing and setting where I want it to go. Gotcha. So, and for me, sometimes when I'm doing this, uh, for me, when I'm doing this, I usually have to, I'm in the shower, so your hair is going to be, um, your hair will be a bit more smooth, especially if you have, like, kinky hair. You definitely don't want to necessarily get out the shower and do this part. I like to do it immediately after I apply product and while I'm kind of in the steam. 
Um, that way you'll get like a smoother finish um, and your curls will clump a little bit better. Um, but we're still going to get good results here today though. Uh, and so what we're going to do after this is we're going to make sure we blow dry her hair with the blow down method. And mm -hmm. so you guys will see what the blow down method is when Andre gets ready to kind of blow dry her hair. But for me, I don't sit under the dryer because my hair is kinky. And so I like to use um, the Dyson dryer to kind of stretch the curl as it's drying. But okay. remember, y'all don't need a Dyson. You don't need a Dyson. Annika, can you go ahead and just do a slow turn for me so they can see the other side of your hair? Yep, yep. You just come and look at the wall. Yep. Awesome, 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 awesome. Let me see some hearts if you guys like Annika's hair. Yes? Yes. yes. The hearts are flowing in. Yay, 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 yay. Oh my God, Annika's hair is looking a... so good, says Joanna. Um, Yolanda says, what causes the hair not to define from the root to the tip? Thanks. Um, I was that's just... actually a really interesting question. So that's probably going to be related to damage along the strand of your hair. So how do you make sure your hair coils all the way to the tips of your hair? I mean, I don't know if that's like... Sometimes I think it's, yes, damage, but then sometimes people's hair does, just doesn't do that. So when you say definition, are you saying one cohesive curl pattern? Like are you saying the same tightness from the roots all the way to the ends? Because if you look at most people's hair has a different um, p texture or pattern rather at those roots and then it maybe loosens just a tad bit going down. So it depends, if, even if you could clarify that question, that'd be helpful. Sure, okay. um, but I would love to talk about how if you have damaged ends, oftentimes you can see a stark difference between the damaged hair and the non-damaged hair because that damaged hair will start to straighten out particularly if you have heat damage anything that kind of stresses the cuticle layer of the hair can lead to a change in that curl pattern and that could be heat damage that could be chemical damage that could be tension damage uh, so you want to make sure that you are avoiding those things and if you want to learn more about how you can damage your hair we have a beautiful blog on our website um, as it relates to Curlmas University, we'll teach you all about how to identify and um, improve damaged hair. So yeah, I wanna, um, I'm getting ready to go ahead and start doing the blow down method on Annika. Now, when we say blow down, um, the, cuticles, the cuticle is an outer layer of the hair and it's translucent. And so there are actually layers to it. And so if you blow it upwards or if you have mechanical damage or uh, heat styling damage and things like that, it can actually cause a roughness to the hair where it won't smooth like it's supposed to. And so one of the things we want to do with the dryer is actually blow downward in the direction of laying those scales down. So just like when you go to get your eyebrows waxed, if you do, they put that wax on and they smooth in the direction that the hair grows. So have that visual in mind. So we did have a, another question from Alexia. Can she ask, does the moisturizer function similarly to a leave-in conditioner? You want to address that really quickly, um, Andra? Oh, I think blow dryer. So oh. can you answer? Sure. So uh, the moisturizer is similar to a leave-in conditioner in the sense that it does have conditioning ingredients. It does have conditioning properties, and it will help um, add that condition. But we want to make sure that the moisturizer is a step in the process so you have your conditioning phase after your cleansing phase that you rinse out and then the moisturizer does a couple different things so yes it helps condition a little bit but its key focus is retaining that moisture in your hair a leave-in will be a little lighter our moisturizer is a little on the, um it's a little heavier so if you have like looser textures you may want to use much less of it than like if you were Annika. Um, Annika and I we probably use about the same amount of moisturizer as we do to gel when it comes to ratio um, but if you have like a, a finer texture, you're going to want to use like a fourth moisturizer compared to the actual gel, okay? And so if you see what Andra's doing, the, she's pointing downward the entire time she's drying and she's moving the hair. So she's not doing a whole bunch of shaking and moving her head around and plopping and whatever. She kind of wants to maintain the shape of the hair also. And then also for kinkier textures, when you use the blow dryer, you are kind of drying the hair as it flexes. So the cast that you're getting is not going to be as tight as if you air dried or if you sat under a hooded dryer. If you sat under a hooded dryer, it's going to be a tight cast um, and you end up with a lot, like a lot of flakes. 
right? So you want to make sure you avoid that and use a, a handheld dryer on Kiki Textures. All right, Joanna, she said, if you want more volume, should you blow the other direction? So, uh, oh, so you can do that if you want more volume, but not if you have kinky hair. If you have hair like me, she has to be still. She needs to not move because you, you don't want a whole bunch of frizz. Um, but if you have like a looser texture and you want to diffuse upward, then yes, that gives you more volume. And then uh, Rita asked a great question. She said, what is the heat setting that you're using and does that matter? Uh, it does matter. So if you want like, you'll get a low and slow is the ideal for um, kinkier textures, right? Because you don't want, it's just like Aisha with our feature stylist uh, last week and she uh, likened it to like frying chicken. You can bake it and you'll have a lighter crisp or you can go fast and fry it and you'll have a much crispier texture on the skin of the chicken. So like think of like that for your hair. So low and slow is ideal. Okay, what are your next questions? Oh, do we I have a giveaway I'm still kind of stuck on that the chicken. chicken example. Yeah. <laughs> I made some hungry. <laughs> Basically. Um, Leslie says, I want to try the Dyson. Um, I love it. It's the Cadillac of dryers, honestly. Um, uh, Joanna, she said her hair type is a mix of 2B, 2C. So she does have a lighter hair texture. So she might be looking for more volume out of her washing. Oh, up. yeah. And then you want to diffuse. I would recommend diffusing for like type 2, type 3 hair. Um, I don't really recommend that. So as you can see, you can see how her hair is drying, right? You see how it's drying clearer? That's because of the hair. We're using the, dry, the handheld dryer. Um, if she was under a hooded dryer, she would have more of like a white cast, um, actually. Um, Les said, are you planning to sell in salon or in stores? Right now, Les, we're focusing on our online. So you can get us at chromix.com. And Les is on YouTube, you guys. Um, Phyllis says, do you have to walk around with wet hair? No, Phyllis, you don't. I actually don't recommend that. Okay? All right, so let me see what some of the other comments say. Um, Chris, get out of here with the spam. <laughs> Black Chris. Don't worry about that. Okay. Um, Alexia says, is it better to blow dry, warm, or cool? Um, I do warm because it will take me forever to dry if we did cool. Okay. Tammy says, it looks like she needs a trim. When was her last trim and how often does she get her hair trimmed? So she said she got one about two weeks ago, but you said it was trimmed. It wasn't in its curly state, right? Yeah, it wasn't. It wasn't in its curly state, so that's probably why. So I'm gonna. So it'll lay a little bit different. So Andre mentioned this earlier. So if you wear your hair curly, you might want to think about getting a curly trim, but it will kind of change how uh, your hair lays once you style it. So what Andre is doing in that smoothing part was making sure her hair is laying in the right kind of shape, right, or a shape that is that looks really good. So that'll kind of be determined by the cut and the style. Um, and the texture that your hair is in, when you do that cut, will change the results. All right, and then Jocelyn Gomez, she asks about the um, underlayer. So is that not dried? Yeah, so we will be drying that underlayer. That, that's meaning the hair near the scalp. So as you blow down, that doesn't mean you're only drying the top. You do want to make sure that you're kind of, as you see uh, Andre doing right now, parting the hair kind of get down in between it and keeping that dryer really really close to make sure that all of the hair is drying uh, relatively uniformly but you do not want to walk around with wet hair like somebody just said so someone says um ask, lynn says after the whole process how do you sleep to keep the style now luckily annika has kinky hair like me so she just put a bonnet on and she'll wake up and fluff a little bit and that's it she doesn't Shout have out to, to the do... bonnet game right right so and let me just um I'll, I'll grab a bonnet to show you guys what I'm talking about for some of you guys who doesn't like who don't know what that is. But it's really really easy when you have like the kinkier hair when it comes to maintaining a wash and go. In my opinion, now because our products don't contain silicones, don't contain really really heavy um, ingredients or like a lot of toxic ingredients, your hair does revert um, after about seven days. But it just takes it doesn't um, it takes a little longer to do that. So you, she could probably get maybe about four or five days probably out of this style at least. That's what I'm thinking. Okay, so let's do another giveaway. Really guys. quickly though, Teddy Ann had a, a really quick one. She said, do you have to blow dry? No, blow drying is optional, but it's highly recommended, particularly the kinkier your hair gets. Yes, that, and that's just a, a, trip, um, a tip that I found. Um, because one, you'll be walking around with wet hair all day because usually kinkier people are higher porosity. I'm sorry, lower porosity. Lower, lower porosity. porosity, which means your hair takes longer to dry and all of the above. So we don't recommend... Um, air drying for the kinkiest textures. And again, 
This is not the same as like um, flat ironing your hair. Flat ironing your hair would kind of like uh, damage it essentially because you are that direct heat. Yes, and blow drying, as you can see, Andra's moving the dryer the entire time, so it's indirect heat. So it's, it's not going to be as dangerous. The, it's actually warming the air first, which is then drying the hair. So that's indirect heat, and there's a very big difference on how those two things affect your hair. So while you don't have to dry, you can also diffuse, you can air dry, but we highly recommend um, you doing some form of drying to set that curl. Alright, so we're going to jump right into our next giveaway. So if you guys are ready for that next giveaway, I see a bunch of people have shared the live. We are almost at 100 shares. So if you haven't shared it, if you want to participate in this giveaway, it's going to be really, really easy. All we're going to do is we're going to open up the share list and pick a name at random. So if you haven't shared already, now is the time. All right. So share that live and we're going to go through that share list and just pick a random winner. So I see we're already up to 111 shares. So that was fast. You guys are ready um, for this next giveaway. I see it. All the hearts are popping up. Let's do it. We'll leave it open for a little bit more to let a few more people get the opportunity to win. And then we'll select our winner. Uh, I have a winner. That was fast. Oh, you want to you wanna do a, one winner or two? We'll do two. We'll do two. Look at that. Kim okay. being generous. Yes. So, Estania Roberts. You are going to be our winner, Estania. Estania, yes. And Kim, can you show Estania what she won? Absolutely. Congratulations to our first winner, Estania. And don't forget, keep sharing because we will be giving away another one. If you haven't shared, make sure you share. All right. Congratulations, Estania. You'll be going home with our Vanilla Berry Wash and Go system. This is an $80 value for free. And it gives you step one through four of how to get the best Wash and Go ever. Congratulations, Estania. Leslie, what are you talking about? Look at Kim. Well, look at what? <laughs> I think it's on my belly. <laughs> oh my goodness. Huh? Yep. Oh, YouTube comments. Okay, so Kim, would a diffuser work on drying your hair? Um, I don't think. Like, what do you mean? Like, my hair would get dry eventually, but, but it wouldn't <laughs> look the way I want it to look. And it also would take a lot more time. So we always talk about um, doing what fits into your style, right? So Kim does not like to take a whole lot of time on that drying phase. So no. she'll, she'll use the blow down method, but she'll also use high heat, right? So the benefit of doing, um, say for instance, a diffuser on is that you don't have as much heat, but for someone with hair like Kim, it might not have the same outcome uh, as using high heat and moving quicker. Okay. But then it also might not fit into her lifestyle. Says, how do I make your curls look cohesive when you have different textures? Um, I would say I just tangle to tangle. So unless you have, if you have damage, then that's a different story. You got to do other stuff. But if you don't have damage, I would just recommend finger detangling, um, and you can adjust the way you dry too. If you're using like a handheld dryer to make your length kind of look similar. Um, Jalen says, should I get box braids? I want them, but I don't want breakage. I do not recommend wearing extensions. Now y'all gonna be mad in the comments. Don't be mad. I know people like to switch up their hair, do a whole bunch of stuff, especially in the winter. Um, but the truth of the matter is that you can get tension damage, right? And the other part about that is most people will wear their braids for like two months, three months, and they're not shampooing their scalp really. Like they're not really cleaning their hair. Um, so whenever you have it in these protective styles, you're not able to actually keep up your routine with your hair. And I've been wearing wash and goes for almost like two years now. Um, and I've had tremendous growth right um way more growth than i ever did when i was using things like fox braids or extensions or, or any of that Senegalese swift i remember that. i think that was the last time you had a lot of hair on your head and i just remember um kim complaining about how heavy that hair was yes. I mean, you can imagine just how much um pressure is going at this right at the scalp level and let me see some hard for shrinkage by the way the roots of your hair yeah i got shrinkage Okay, let's check back in with Andra and see how she, how things are going. Alright, oh, I think we might need to, uh, oh, well, that's good, okay. Alright, so, we still need to dry a little bit longer, but if you can just turn that way a little bit. As you can see, um, we have kind of the steel look we're going for, because remember, we're setting the hair with this heat, and so we don't want to be, like, doing a lot of shaking, we definitely don't want to be inside of the roots, pulling, moving it around. Um, but one thing I will have her do is shake a little bit from left to right. A little bit more. 
And so with her hair being kinky the way that it is, it wants to kind of lock together. So that can be helpful if you're trying to separate the hair without using your fingers to do it. So do it again a little bit harder. And you see just like that, it's opening up in here and that's the look that we're going for. We don't want them all stuck together like helmet hair. You can shake harder. Are you afraid? Yeah. Why? Why are you afraid? Because like my hair's wet and there's like technology oh, around. Oh no, you are fine. You are fine. Go ahead no, and shake your hair. No, we want the shake here. It's pivotal. There look you go. At the there lion. You go. Okay. Look at it. Look at it. Look at it. Blowing. So as you can see, the hair starts to open up instead of hold on to itself. And so that's what we want. Um, it is day one and it's going to get bigger and it's going to separate and the cast is going to break throughout the week But this is fine to do remember it's different than going in with your hands and moving hair around and causing frizz This is it's like using the head as a tool So you're shaking and you're doing what you got to do without disrupting the set and I will say um I will say that it looks like Annika may need a trim which is totally fine like that happens um, I'll show you guys if we can come back to us um, John, I'm going to show you guys. I'm going to point to um, Annika's picture on our wall so you guys can see where her hair looks like um, when she kind of has a trim or when like it's kind of trimmed all over. Uh, yes? Yes? Okay, I'm going to walk back. Yep, you're good. So here's Annika here. Can you guys see that? Is it? Can you catch it on the camera? I'm not sure. Absolutely. Yeah, you got it? Okay. Cool, 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 cool. And that's gonna be like the end result once we kind of like fluff a little bit and like kind of stretch out the hair and kind of get the look that we're going for. Um, but right now we're just focused on drying her hair um, so that it, the style will last, okay? All right, and then also I'm going to announce the last giveaway winner for this for the chef, our share giveaway. So I looked at the shares, we had a bunch more entries and I selected Olivia Hudson Pillar. Oh, Olivia cool. Hudson Pillar, congratulations, Olivia. You are the winner of our Vanilla Berry Wash and Go system. Oh, thank congratulations, you. Congratulations, Olivia. My, my belly is so beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> it oh, is. Thank you, guys. Really thank you. But congratulations to all of both of our last two winners. We have a couple more giveaways to go. So if you didn't win, get ready. We, your chances are getting a little She's low, ready. but there still is, are more chances to win. So congratulations to Olivia. You are our winner. Awesome, awesome, <laughs> awesome. All right, you guys. So we have one more giveaway, um, but I want to save it until the end. I want to come back to Andre so you guys can see in here finishing up with the dryer, okay? Oh, and don't forget, if you guys want something, make sure to screenshot the end of this live that says this live has ended and send it to info at chromex.com and we will ship your prize out to you tomorrow. Yes? All right. So So people are asking about the dryers again. One, you do not have to go out and get this Dyson dryer, which is a whole car note. I'm telling you. Uh, any basic dryer, as long as it has the cool and the heat settings, will work for your hair. All right? So do not worry. You do not have to get an expensive dryer. It just has to heat up um, and blow air. So any kind of dryer will work. <laughs> Heat up and blow air. Um, you are so funny. So Phyllis asked earlier, should you be putting products in your hair on a daily basis? So if you are setting your hair and you're using the right amount of water and products, until it's time for your next cleanse, condition, and styling session, you don't need to be adding anything else because that hair is set. Awesome, awesome, awesome. All right, so are we ready for like, can you want a final look? Um, well, let's get her to... um. Uh, like shape too. I'm gonna like so she can get the more like volume and stuff when she stands up. All right, I'm gonna move this out the way, and so um, Annika can come up and show us her hair. Okay. And, um, you wanna do kind of like yep. Okay. So we're gonna transition to the big okay. camera, so you guys can see okay. what is near to the final look. So if you're following on along at home, we've cleansed, we've conditioned, mm -hmm. we've moisturized, and we have styled, and now we have set the curl. All right, check her out. Ooh, look at that. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, yes. Look at the LeBron's flowing. Yes. The so hair. we still have like it's still a little wet right in the edges. Let me see. Turn this way for me. Yeah, but we got her curls popping here. All right, it's it's pretty consistent all the way to the through the end. And then as as the days would pass, we would fluff it a bit more and she get a little bit more body. You can keep turning. Yep, yep, yep. You guys can see the back. Yep. Yep, looking really, really good. 
And you can see her curls really, really kind of pop now. Before, we kind of started in more of an afro state, which is still beautiful. Um, we are just going for a different look, which is our wash and go look. All right? And so you guys can kind of see her curls really popping through here. And you can see it really good when you pop, put it up against my hand. All right? Let me see some hearts if you guys like Annika's hair. Yes? Yes. All right, you're getting going. Cute, gorgeous, beautiful. So cute. Beautiful. Yeah. Beautiful with all her hearts. Yes. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And I like her to... hair results are amazingly beautiful. Yes. Look at that. Everyone is loving the hair, Annika. Oh. You, are, you got a fan base already. So, Annika, I have a question. Did you, you said you straightened it when she did it? Yeah. So, I can tell. Can you, do you know, did you notice? Yeah, I was like, oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. At least it's just like on the ends and stuff. Because I'm looking around like in the picture, it's like coiling like all the way to the end. But I see a little bit like just like some small straight pieces, which is not a big deal. That happens as, you know, we all have had like a little bit of heat damage before. Um, but it's okay. Annika is going to become wash and go queen. And she's gonna be like, no, I only want my hair cut when it's curly, and we're gonna do that. Okay. <laughs> but you are still getting all of the love. The hearts have literally not stopped. Yes, so they love it. Yes, it's beautiful. London, it's beautiful. she said, it is stunning, Annika. Uh, Vanessa said, her hair looks amazing. I'm so impressed. Alexia said, it's shut popping. Yes, 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 yes. A stunning Annika. Oh, they love it. That's so good. Much. Oh, she's not. <laughs> it's beautiful. Yes, it's beautiful. All right, you guys. So this is our final look. We will do our last giveaway. And this giveaway is for our chromatists only. Um, I'm going to let you guys step. Oh, you guys can. Oh, and you, if you want to do like a one final, you know, you got the outfit on and makeup. You look cute, girl. <laughs> You're cute. Okay. Oh, you want to do a final rotation for us? Do you want me to? Yes. Okay. Go ahead. Go ahead. There you go. Kahara, she said, you always have such beautiful models. The Kermis community is amazing. Sending all the love. Awesome. Okay. Thank you so much. Thanks, Andra. Thank you so much, Annika. Andra and Annika. Oh, that's cute. <laughs> that's cute. Okay, you guys, we're going to do our last giveaway. All right? All right. So, if you have um, not joined the greatest yeah. curl mist community, sorry, the greatest curly hair community on the internet, I don't know what you're waiting for. Oh. Curl Mixers Only is our private Facebook group for Curl Mix customers. Yeah, so, if you purchase from Curl Mix in that very first email, you'll get your invite to our private Facebook group yeah. where you can, one, learn uh, how to care for your hair in a more detailed way, get to ask personal questions, interact with Kim and us as a brand. But then on top of that, you get to learn from the community of Curl Mixers who have been here since day one, using the products, um, taking pictures, encouraging each other, and supporting each other. And without further ado, we're going to be giving away a Curl Mix t-shirt to one of well, those We're not a t-shirt this time. Oh, not we're a t-shirt? We're doing a Curl Mix bag. Yes, you guys. Ooh. We have our new fancy bags. And you can fit a lot of stuff in here. So I didn't know those were ready, ready. They're not available on the site, but let me show you what you can fit in here. Can you hold this up? Absolutely. All right, so you can fit, it's a big bag. You can fit yeah, your so product. It's not just a travel size bag. This is a full-fledged travel bag. You can fit your whole makeup, hair <laughs> routine okay, in this brush. bag. Yep, you can, you can fit the brush. You can fit a lot of you stuff You can fit in the here. whole system in there. Uh, Look at sorry, that. I'm struggling. It is a huge bag. Oops. And it is waterproof, right? Because it's made of plastic. But of course, it has our lovely Pro Mix branding all over it. Yeah. It is one of the. It, it was a gift. I think we sent it out to a few lucky um, Pro Mix subscribers already, right? Yes. So we have. If you are not a Pro Mix subscriber, you can't get this. So <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be very special just for our Pro Mix Facebook group. So, Kim uh, Alexi says, Chromix, um, Chromix Group has some of the most amazing women she's ever had the privilege of chatting with. Oh, that is so Aww. beautiful. <laughs> that is so beautiful. Tim and Kim, I love the Chromix Group. There's so much. Oh, my gosh. You, now the comments are rolling in about how much you love the group. Oh, my gosh. Thank you guys so much. I just love the community that you guys have, that you guys have built. Um, and so this, la this last giveaway is especially for you guys, and it's a real easy um, trivia question. So if you're active in the group and you're a rewards member, you already know the answer. Tim, do you want to go ahead and ask? Absolutely. So right at the top of our group, right up there in the header, we have a little promo image. You Tim, take it too long. So I we, want you to you tell us who knows. Why, what do you and your friend get when you refer friends? There so we if go. if you're in the group, you'll see it. What do you and your friend get when you refer a friend? 
Right, it's really easy. We're looking Brittany for a whole Brittany is talking about the Stroman screws. They keep talking about the Stroman screws. This is so funny. Yes, uh, Sandra says, I need get that a bag. Cruise, right? <laughs> no, she's just saying. You don't get the car, you don't get the No, boat. they want us to <laughs> take them on a cruise, Tim. Jeez, I know, I'm geez. joking because I don't know if that's It's not 15% we'll off, Dion. Nope, nope, nope. Yeah, so Yolanda says spoons. And something, yes, but what? But what? It says it right at the top of the group. All right, so we always like to encourage Kim, you, you to so share funny. curl mix with a friend. Sonya, that's only half the answer. All right, what so, does your friend get? In order to incentivize people to share, we want to make sure not only do you get something when you share a curl mix, but your friend gets something as well. So we want to see what do you get and what I, does your I friend get. Everyone do. keeps posting half the answers. So like some people are posting the beginning, some people are posting. Do we have somebody on? Nope, nobody on YouTube has it nope, either. And so we're still clearly. waiting. Uh, okay, there we go. Jennifer Robinson Jarrett. They get a free full, si hey, full size Jennifer. Pure Flaxy Gel, and your friend gets twenty percent off. Very true. Look at that. Jennifer is on top of things. And Jennifer is another OG Triple OG. Right. Congratulations, Jennifer. You are the winner of the Curl Mix. Tote. Well, it's like a travel tote. tote. It's like so a it's travel, travel bag. Let's now, talk. not all of this stuff in the travel bag. Don't be mad when she's like, hold it's up. It's just the bag. It's just the bag. <laughs> <laughs> this was the demonstration. Oh, my goodness. Okay. And then finally, you guys, everyone's a winner tonight because you get 20% off with the code WGWOCT16. Thank you guys for tuning in tonight, and we will see you next Wednesday at Wash and Go Wednesday. Yes, and remember, if you did not share, make sure if you won tonight, you share the live so that you're eligible, and we'll be following up on how you can get your free gifts. Oh, and so if you won, yeah, send us an email with the screenshot that this live has ended at info at curlmix.com, and we will get your prize out to you. All right, you guys, thank you so much. Have a wonderful evening, and I'll see you guys next Wednesday. Bye. Is Georgia talking about me?